What is good guys, back with more smoke on Snake Drive, we got Jirachi playing for the Leviathans, Tamahome playing for the Cobras. Uh, we got two similar teams right here, um, Z-Move user on both sides is most likely either the Curum or the Coco. Then we have a Mega Alakazam on Jirachi's side. Uh, Tangus has to be AV probably on both sides to help with the Greninja matchup. I feel like the trend is bulky rocks on Jirachi's side and the Landris is most likely choice card to run out the team. So it's also like kind of threatening to Jiraji, so I feel like he could have HP fire on this or this to lure in the Scizor. Otherwise, the Scizor kind of walls his entire team outside of the Heatran. Uh, well, I guess Kyurem's Fusion Bolt can also do a lot, especially if his Kyurem is Life Orb. But, like, if Scizor is, like, super defensive and after Megas, it can probably eat Fusion Bolt into rain. On Tamahome's side, it's gonna be Rocks, Gliscor with Roost and Earthquake. The last move could either be U-turn for momentum, or it could be toxic to hit stuff like Tornadoes and bulky Grass types. Tango's um, yeah, most likely AV, then Greninja could be Scarf or Ash, I'm not sure about that just yet. Uh, probably a bulky scissor with either Curse or SD and U-turn for momentum. Uh, either Ashuka or Z-Move Tapu Koko, and then the Kyurem could be Life Orb or Z-Move. Or if the Greninja is not Scarf, the Kyurem could also be the Choice Scarf user on Tamahome's side. Um, both Kyurems are really scary, especially if um, Jirachi can get the electric terrain up, as that is the case because Tamahome gets the terrain up for him. <laughs> Uh, so Tamam is most likely forced out here. Cocos usually don't carry Dazzling Gleam anymore. Like Z Dazzling Gleam is pretty rare and also Specs, like Specs, we haven't seen that in ages and OU Specs Coco is super rare. So Tamam is most likely just forced out into the scissor here and Jirachi is probably just gonna go for um, Ice Beam as exactly does that and gets a freeze on the scissor. Now he can either go for Fusion Bolt or if he has HP Fire he can just buff the scissor with that. Um, or you can also switch it on the heat run if he doesn't want to risk the scissor thawing out and taking a potential bullet punch. Um, I think Tamahome should switch out here into his Kyurem. Tamahome switching out into Kyurem covers Jirachi going into heat run. It covers Jirachi staying in going for Fusion Bolt and also covers Jirachi staying in going for HP Fire as his scissor gets barbed by the HP Fire. So yeah, I, f I felt like he had the tag on either Alakazam or Kyurem HP Fire to barb scissor. Now Tamahome goes into his Kyurem and he can obviously threaten out Jirachi's Kyurem because he revealed Life Orb. He revealed HP Fire and he revealed Ice Beam, so the last two moves are most likely Fusion Bolt and Roost on Jirachi's Kyurem, meaning that he cannot Oko the opposing Kyurem, and the opposing Kyurem can threaten this with a potential ICMZ. Um, I'm not sure if it has Dragon Step, but it could also potentially have that. Now this is tough for Jirachi, he really doesn't have a good switch into this Kyurem. Uh, I guess he could go land a predicting a Fusion Bolt or Earth Power, but what if Tamahome goes for ICMZ, then the Landris just dies? So this is like tough for him, like if he predicts ICMZ, then he goes Heatran here. But Tamahome could also predict the Heatran, so it's just really tough for Jirachi. I feel like he's gonna switch out because this Kyurem is a huge threat for Tamahome and he still wants to keep this around. Um, so he's either gonna pull a switch into Tren or maybe into Lando if he's feeling ballsy. But yeah, I feel like um, if I'm Tamahome here... What do you click? Um, I think he just clicks Fusion Bolt. He clicks off power breaking the Heatran, that works as well if he has it. And that does nothing, so it's more so... Um, well, I guess it could be Spadeftran, but I think it's more so physical invested Kyurem um, for that max attack sub zero slammer, or if it's Scarf for those max attack and Dragon Claws, like depending on what he is. Um, Scarf or Z both run more attack than special attack, I think. Uh, so Jirachi could potentially pivot out here and do the Alakazam, but if this. Yeah, because I don't think this Kyurem has Fusion Bolt, and even. Yeah. I think he can pivot out into Alakazam, he breaks another off power. Or I guess he could also potentially sack the trend, but I feel like you still want this around to potentially get rocks up later in the game. Uh, even though trend doesn't really do much at this range, it loses to everything when we want. It's in Coco's T bolt range, it loses to Tangos if it's AV Tang. Um, Tamahome pivots out into Glisco there um, just to get a Toxic up activated, and Jirachi goes into Alakazam predicting another off power to come out. Now, um, Jirachi can probably just fire off a psych Psychic here. Tamahome. Oh, he gets switches out in the Kyurem. Tamahome was probably just gonna go for rocks. And, um, well, Glisco could have lived any one hit, and I guess he didn't want to take a potential U turn with the Alakazam. So now Kyurem is in, and Kyurem is, is gonna claim one, uh, kind of. It's just gonna, just gonna click Ice Beam here, right? Well, not gonna claim one, but it's gonna do a lot, as you guys can see, that 58. And now Tamahome, um, this is either a Speed Tie, or Tamahome is Scarf. I mean, Tamahome brought this out twice already on the opposing Kyurem, like, super confident that he's faster, so he might be Scarf. Um, again, Jirachi really doesn't have a switch in. He can potentially sack the trend. No, he stays in as Dragon Claw. I think he's Scarf. I don't think you run Dragon Claw on Zemo. You don't. I think it's Scarf. Damn. Um, basically, 
you can go Coco here, you can go Landris, or you can go... No, he can't go Zem if it's Scarf. Does Scarf Q not speed Zem? I don't know the speed tier is enough. I... It might actually not outspeed. <laughs> I'm not sure. As he goes Coco, knowing that it's most likely locked in the Dragon Claw. So this Coco is either gonna go for U turn or Volt Switch or Defog. Yeah, U turns on the Tangros. And now he doesn't really have counterplay to this Tangros because he turns his leftovers. It's not Fire Z. It's like he, he has nothing to Oko this Tangros, is what I'm trying to say. He gets up rocks as Tamon just stays in, knowing that he can live anyone hit in Earthquakes and kills the Heatran. Um, I guess Tangros is gonna go for HPIs on knockoff here. Yeah, like he doesn't have anything to kill this, so we got some Tangros on Tangros action here. Damn, does Tamahom Scarf Curum just win with Ice Beam late game? Like, <laughs> he goes Glisco on a, on a knockoff. He could have potentially HPIs there, but um, I guess Jira yeah, Tamahom switches out. Yeah, that was a good play switching out because if the AVE gets knocked, as he is toxic, which is really cool. It's a really cool set on Glisco. Um, to lure in like Bulu, Tangros, Tornadoes. And does this not have HPIs? He just keeps predicting him. To switch with knockoff. Basically, um, Tamahom switched out with his Tangros because he didn't want to let the AV get knocked off. That way he can check Alakazam better because he already lost the Scizor. So he Toxic again, they're predicting the switch and now um, Jirachi is going to U-turn or HPIs. They're probably going to U-turn back into Tangros. But yeah, Tamahom is most likely just going to click um, Roost or Earthquake here. Probably Roost in case the lander went for HPIs. Just Earthquakes, which is also a fine play. I feel like I would have Roosted there, but Earthquake works. And he just keeps earthquaking the Tangros is toxic, which is really bad for Jirachi. He again drains to get uh, to get a little bit of health back. But I think this is already like set up for Scarf Curum the clean late game. He just has to not be super dumb and he should win it. Okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. But yeah, Coco can just roost here. I assume he's Shooker Coco. Uh, does this tank not have earthquake on HP eyes? It should knock off on Giga Drain only. So he goes in the Landers. Um, Tamom is just going to roost again. Dagnos had to switch out because otherwise the Toxic would wreck up. Now if Tamom is Shuka, he can stay in. Otherwise he's going to switch out into Tang. But he stayed in, making me think that he's definitely Shuka Berry. And I assume he just went for HPIs. He just went for HPIs. And he can just HPIs again here because the Tang is super low with that Toxic. And Tang either goes for Giga Drain or Earthquake. He goes for Earthquake. And there is the Shuka Berry. Yeah, otherwise he would have never stayed in on the, on the Landers if he weren't Shuka there. I'm pretty sure. So now he can just HPS again. Um, Jirachi can potentially go Alakazam here. Does he U-Temp predict in that? Or just T-Bolt, which is also fine play. Um, yeah, T-Bolt obviously gets more damage on Alakazam. Alakazam is able to eat that up because the Electric Turin was down. And now he can obviously, he has to Mega Evolve, so that way he outspeeds the Coco and he can threaten it out with a Psychic. Um, Tamahom's Tangros should be able to lift two Psychics as Alakazam is going to trace the Regenerator here. 37, and now... Mm -mm -mm. Tamam's gonna go for knockoff most likely as Jirachi is gonna sack his Tangros to the knockoff plus Toxic. Well, he might barely live it. Yeah, he barely lives it. But, oh yeah, to Toxic only does 6% and then it keeps racking up. I forgot it. Yeah, I mean, I didn't forget. I just thought he would barely live it for some reason. Don't ask me why. But now, um, I think Scarf Curum is already set up to sweep with Ice Beam. He just has to be careful around... Wait, uh, earlier I wasn't sure if Scarf Curum outspeeds Zam, right? Uh, it definitely outspeeds it. It's like base 95, and even the Scarf Landers outspeeds Mega Zam, and Scarf Landers is slower than Scarf Kyurem, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what I was thinking earlier, I just mixed up the speed tiers. Scarf Kyurem definitely outspeeds, so you just get rid of Zam comes out. And you can just click knock off here. I mean, Jirachi switched out to get some region with his Tangros, but it didn't really gain anything. Well, yeah, like the, Gear, the Giga Drain did too much to the Alakazam, and he also had rocks up, so like the Alakazam didn't region enough. So now, what does he go to? Landris? Like, this game is over. Um, yeah, yeah, Scarf Curum definitely just cleans this with Ice Beam. If it ha doesn't have Ice Beam? Oh, I guess it can also clean with... Um, what other move does it have? It showed Dragon Claw and Earth Power. What, what would the other two moves be? Definitely Ice Stab, probably Ice Beam. And then the last move <laughs> could be Iron Head, I guess. Or it could be Fusion Bolt, or... I don't know. There's definitely some obvious last move that I can't think about. I guess it might be Fusion Bolt or Iron Head. For those fairies, <laughs> Ironhead. But Coco can come out here and what does he click? I mean, they already sent it out. I don't know why I said it can come out. HPIs? I mean, this game is a wrap. Jirachi doesn't really have an out here. Kyurem was a huge problem for him. Um, yeah, he was able to lure the opposing scissor in and. Alakazam would have been a huge problem for Tamahome, but. 
Um, AD tank plus Scarf QM, keep it in check. Otherwise he would have had, otherwise he would have had Scarf Gren if the, oh he has Z move, Gigavolt, okay. I mean Gigavolt, I forgot how healthy the Tangros was, but I'm pretty sure that might not even have killed the Tangros. So I assume we just see a Giga Drain here, I might also go for HPIs, but I think Giga Drain is just the safest, is exactly. And Landris goes down um, almost to the Toxic, and he can go for HPIs here, I guess, or U-turn, U-turns, okay. It's a crit, which doesn't matter, now Alakazam comes out, uh, he's gonna trace the Toxic, Poison here, not Toxic here, Poison here. Uh, can go for Roost, uh, Recover here if he has that, or oh, just Psychics, and it kills, and um, Alakazam so strong. I'm used to Aura's Alakazam, and I'm used to Aura's Glisco, which runs more Spadef. Sun and Moon Glisco runs like... Uh, more speed to outspeed Heatran, and sometimes also to outspeed Zygarde, so it's way less bulky. So I was a little bit surprised that that killed, because I'm still so used to the Auras Alakazam versus Glisco scenario. So he's just gonna spam knockoff here, super free for Tamahome. Um, I guess he just wants to make sure that the Alakazam is in range for the Kyurem. He doesn't want to risk anything. I'm not sure if it would have died from full, it might have also died from full. But you can just spam knockoff here, or like uh, Gidrin, it doesn't really matter what he clicks, yeah, just knockoff. Um, Coco comes out after the Landris gets sacked to the Stealth Rock, and what is this Coco gonna do? You do not HPIs. HPIs, it's gonna do nothing. We're gonna see Giga Drain or Earthquake? Yeah, Earthquake. Coco lives on one. Yeah, I feel like he could've just Giga Drain there. Um, if Earthquake was a roll, as it seems to be a roll, because it lived on one. Giga Drain would've been better in my opinion, but it doesn't make a difference. He has this game uh, wrapped up with the Kyurem in the back. So he goes Greninja here, predicting HPIs or U-turn. It doesn't really matter, he just wants to sack and get Kyurem in. Now you can just click Fusion Ball twice if he has that, um, and that should be able to wrap it up for him. Ice Beam, um, Alakazam is good spadef, so Ice Beam might not kill, so that's why I said Fusion Ball. Exactly, let's just go for that. Um, yeah, I mean, it would have also been in range of Ice Beam, it's at 35, I thought it was healthier for some reason, but yeah, Fusion Ball is going to pick up the kill here. Confirmed Scarf Kyurem there again. I mean, that was already obvious, but just confirmed again. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know what the exact scores in the series. The Smoktus chat might have talked about it. I didn't look at the Smoktus chat at all. I think Finch is playing versus Kick Ass in a few minutes, so I will bring you guys that game as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more content. Dogfish signing out.